Hi everyone, Saren over here, and I want to go over some uh, things to do whilst we wait for Legion, three in particular. If you're like me, then you know, you're sat in your garrison um, on a daily basis, you've done your gold, you've done your daily cooldowns, you've done on your olive alts. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of an idea of things I'd like to do. Number one being collecting battle pets. Now, this is easy to do, you can go out and farm them, or you can actually have a little bit of a head start. Uh, if you head over to the Storm Spire, um, over in uh, Netherstorm in Outland, um, jump on your mount and literally go down to the bottom of the bank here and you're looking for a guy called Dila Rashad. Now, this guy will have a variety of uh, mounts that you can actually buy. Now, have a look at the tooltips here. A lot of these go for some ridiculous amounts of gold on the auction house. Um, you know, a couple of hundred gold here um, for a variety. Keeps getting a little bit higher. Crimson Snake, 3,000 gold. Now, that is an amazing, an amazing uh, return of profit, especially when you're uh, spending 40 silver on that one. So make a little bit of gold in the process here. Stock up on these if you want. Send them to an alt, um, especially if you've got an alt with a guild bank. Just literally ram a few in there for, for Legion um, and stock up. Next one I want to do is uh, collect the mount drops. Now, if you're like me, um, you know, you don't farm a lot of mounts, but you know, you've got a lot of time to kill now. Head on over to a website called simplearmory.com. Very, very simple, hence the name. But all you need to do here is you need to enter your realm. So in my case, that would be Frostmane in EU, EU, um, in EU and then character Saranuva, obviously. Now, all it effectively does here is it pulls in your achievement points. Now, the great thing that it will do though is a little bit like the um, the, the Blizzard website, um, it'll tell you which achievements you don't have. Um, this is just a very, very great visual way of having a little look of going through all of your old um, criteria, um, all of the old achievements that you may have completed but you may not have completed. Um, now, the reason that I like using this one is it reminds us of achievements that I haven't done. But first and for foremost is it will actually let me do a thing called collectibles. Now, if you head up to the navigation, click collectible and click on mounts, this will actually then visually tell you which mounts you do and you do not have. Now, I'm not a huge mount collector. I never have been. However, what I have collected over the time is, is here to see. There's some easy mounts that I've got. There's some easy mounts that I can actually get. So yeah, from the, from the guild, I can easily get that one. Recruiting a friend, you know, whether you create uh, four brand new accounts, uh, test accounts, pay some sub on that, get some uh, mounts on that, if you're that way inclined. Rare spawns, camp them out. I tried, and I, I, it wasn't really for me. But what this can actually do is if you click this show planner, is it will actually allow you to see step by step what you need to do from a time efficiency perspective. So start off in storm, uh, Stormwind, set my uh, Hearthstone to Shrine in Pandaria, and then take the first portal to Uldum. And then what you can then do is you can effectively go and farm all of the items. So nine normal uh, runs and then a heroic run for um, the Drake of the North Wind. This is the most time efficient way to farm mounts. I spent one day doing this. Um, the luck isn't with me. None of these mounts actually dropped. So um, there are mounts that I have farmed in the past. Sethic Halls, Raven Lord, yeah. It's never going to happen. I farmed that solidly every day for about, oh, well, weeks, weeks. Um, never going to get it. However, what the website will actually um, allow you to do is it will also show you some companions gain in the same visual way um, of what you do and you do not have. It's also got um, the ability for battle pets. Now, like I said earlier on, step one, collect some battle pets. This will actually tell you where you need to, to be in a rough area to actually get the battle pets. Now, I haven't actually gone and farmed a lot of them. I have quite literally managed with a, just a handful of battle pets. So have a little look around that um, website again, simplearmory.com, and it will allow you to see all of the achievements that you have and you haven't collected. The final one that I'd like to do is revisiting old raids. Now, if you're like me, you've probably done this quite a bit. I love going into old instances, um, particularly from a, a transmog run perspective, um, 
going in, just having a little bit of a spy around, remembering what it was like when, you know, you had to go in there with 40 man, 20 man, 25 man, etc, etc. Um, but the, the, the satisfying part for me is just to go in there, you don't need any help with anyone, you can actually, you know, quickly take down the bosses. It's free gold, it's free loot, and there's instances where you can actually get gold um, items and just generally items that you you would never have been able to get your hands on um, back when you were raiding, whether that's through DKP problems or, you know, we always had that one loot horny guy who just rolled a new character and wanted to, um, to get the items. Um, seriously, go back, run some of the old raids, get some of the items, particularly because of the, the wardrobe um, edition that's now in Legion, um, and tie it in with the, uh, the mount run drops, you know, fantastic way of, of, um, of getting that. Again, Allah here, I've never really um, formed him, but, you know, it's never uh, dropped either. Um, again, run right the way through, go through to uh, to Gaw, down in uh, Molten Core, clear the whole of Molten Core, and get Blood of the Mountains off some of the destroyers as well, and make some money that way. So, if I hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe below, and a new video will be coming soon.